She said I could have it. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says you gave it to him. That's right, I did. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Festa. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So, I gave you the idol, eh? Gosh. Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Uh. My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush. Why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. I really wish I knew how to talk to women. It's beautiful. No time for reading now. I don't see anything special about it. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. I'm not going back in there. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Sharp and dangerous. I can't reach that from here. 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 I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey! You can talk! <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Fester wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? 
I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why, are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials quickly. Sharp as your wit. I don't want to come between a pirate and his grog. I don't want to bother them. It's my little plunder bunny. I can't pick that up. Listen, I'm sort of busy right now. I'll talk to you later. What do you want? Oh, it's you. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, 
I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. No! Beat first, then lunge! Watch your footwork. Distance, distance! No! Beat first, then lunge! Use your forte against the foible! Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm going to let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? Oh, yeah? I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab, would have been something like, First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. There's no answer. I don't see anything special about it. Stupid enough to do that twice. Ooh, that's refreshing. Ooh, that's refreshing. I've already got one. Uh, 
I don't think strolling through the forest picking flowers is very good practice for being a pirate. Creepy. I can't pick that up. That doesn't seem to work. What a lovely plant. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. That doesn't seem to work. Creepy. Looks like an old abandoned campsite. That doesn't seem to work. Digmaster, the only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Creepy.
That doesn't seem to work. can't pick that up. Just a regular old stump. I can't pick that up. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. I found the treasure of Melee Island, and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. Hmm. Looks like a big plus sign. What could that possibly mean? I'm not stupid enough to do that twice.
I discovered the lost treasury. You're a clever boy. You may keep the sheep t-shirt. We have plenty. Tell me again about mastering the sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. And get yourself trained first. I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again, ungrateful little shoplifter. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. Oh, please. I won't steal anything this time, I promise. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. I've got my eyes on you, weasel boy. Don't try anything. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the uh, business. This kid come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike. And don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. I beg your pardon. I must talk to you. 
I doubt that. Everyone who comes here is prepared to fight. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. I can also tell from the Melee Times sports page that you haven't won a single fight. This would be nothing more than a waste of my time. How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. I can also tell from the Melee Times sports page that you haven't won a single fight. This would be nothing more than a waste of my time. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. I don't want that. Oh, it doesn't fit. Figures. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. You fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, yeah. Boy, are you ugly. What's the matter? Just get out of sword fighting class. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. I give up. You win. Right. 
This better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. I am rubber. You are glue. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Oh, yeah? Uncle! Uncle! can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Oh, yeah? This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. I give up, you win. There's no answer. my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah? You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah? Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. I give up! You win! Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. 
I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? I am rubber. You are glue. Boy, are you ugly. <laughs> Is this the best you can come up with? My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. I am rubber, you are glue. Yikes, nice move. What you be wanting, you scurvy lubber? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I am rubber, you are glue. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why? Did you want to borrow one? Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Oh, yeah? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I am rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win. Move out of the way or I cuts my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? I've heard you were a contemptible snake. Oh, yeah? You make me want to puke. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Uncle! Uncle! Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why, did you want to borrow one? Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. You make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as janitor, after all. Where did my sword go? Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. 
I've spoken with apes more polite than you. He must have taught you everything you know. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Oh, yeah? Yikes, nice move. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Oh, yeah? This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as a janitor after all. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? You make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. I give up. You win. How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. Hi, I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Do you have one in size three? Of course you don't. Because you're not really a jacket salesman. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. I can also tell from the Melee Time Sports page that you've won only two fights. Not nearly enough to waste my time. To be wanted, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath? Have you stopped wearing diapers yet?
Why? Did you want to borrow one? This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? You make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast. Uncle! Uncle! There's no answer. <laughs>